it it? Was it lost it? Of course not. It means he started the town. He was Mayor Owen's grandpa. Wasn't he, Mr. Owen? That's right, Sonny. And he was a very great man. Funny, <laughs> when your grandpa don't look no older than you do. <laughs> You know, I think that calls for a little licorice on Grandpa and me. Oh, thanks, <laughs> thanks, Mr. Owen. Oh, afternoon, Ned. What are you crossing the street in such a hurry for? Well, it's about that note I owe you. I can't meet it, and I was a little ashamed to face you. Guess you're worried about it, too. Now, there's no sense of both of us worrying about one note. <laughs> You just leave that to me, and you concentrate all your worrying on that scraggly parcel of the land you're trying to farm. You're a real friend, Pop. Uh, how Sophie's romantic? A lot better. I wish I could say the same for her nagging. <laughs> <laughs> it's twins, Mr. Owen, twins. Well, congratulations, Jim. <laughs> uh, come along with me. We keep right up to date in Owensville. Wait a minute. Sounds like we might have to change that again. Thank you. Uh, just a minute. It's all the shooting about, Skelly. When the lady has to step off the sidewalk to pass loafers like that. Somebody has to clear the way. We don't need to learn manners from riffraff like you. You're just prejudiced against Mr. Skelly, Dad. You always were. You've caused enough trouble, Janet. You'd better go on home. But I've invited Mr. Skelly to ride with me. Mr. Skelly is riding in the opposite direction. When we rode you out of town, Skelly, it was on a one-way ticket, and that still holds. Mr. Owens, it just happened that I have business to attend to here. I doubt that. We don't do business with gamblers and gunmen. We leave that to Canyon City. Well, at least Canyon City has life in it. They bury their dead instead of letting them roam the streets. We'll bury some of Canyon City's dead for them right now, if you don't get out of here. Good day, Miss Holmes. Goodbye. Hello, Tom. Hello. I hope you don't share your dad's opinion about me. Oh. Dad's got set ways. Tom, come here. Yes, Dad? I hope Skelly's business has got nothing to do with you. No, nothing like that. I told you I paid your last IOU, and I mean it. Now, you'd better drive your sister home. Well, why aren't you at the bank, Jed? I heard all the commotion. When I seen you starting for Skelly, I figured there might be trouble. Oh, still playing my guardian angel, eh? <laughs> oh, thanks. Now, Jed, will you arrange for a railroad ticket and a seat on the stage for Janet? I think she'd better stay with her Aunt Susan for a while. Well, I'm going back with your IOUs and collect. But it won't do any good, Sam. Last time Dad paid off, he said he was through. What would you say if I turn it over to my collection agency? Doing that won't get your money either. Look, I'm expecting some money next week. I'll pay you then. Tell that to your dad in public while he's apologizing to me. But you can't do that. It would put him in an awful spot. That's what I'm figuring. Come on, Berger. They're riding back to Owensville. And you better tag along, Sonny, and get your spanking. Skelly, you gotta give me a break. I'll get it to you, I tell you. What are you gonna do, dream it up? Never mind how, but you'll have it. Wait a minute. You know, I think he means it. Okay, have the money here by 10 in the morning. But don't slip up. I won't. He 
just trying to stall you out of hurting the old man's feelings. No. You'll find the 2,000 all right. Pop Bones is going to get a lot more than his feelings hurt. his money all right. invited me in for dinner, and then we played a little whist. What'd you do to your hand? Oh, I'm, but you know, that Sorrel's becoming unmanageable. He, he threw me off on kind of a jagged rock. It's nothing serious. Well, night, Dad. Yes, Lem? The bank was robbed? They got away. Yeah, yeah, that's right. One of them must have got hurt or wing. We found blood on the floor. Oh, I see. Well, all right, I'll be right over. missing over forty thousand dollars in cash and more than that in guilt edge bonds yeah now just a minute jen stop worrying yourself into a nervous breakdown <laughs> they just got a couple hundred in cash and some old mortgages why you're crazy i sent those bonds and bills over to state bank on the late stage had a kind of a premonition i guess wow what a lucky break for you pop i meant to tell you jen but i guess i clean forgot it you sure did but i'm glad to see you boys are on your toes and incidentally, until you get the bandit, I wouldn't say anything about this. Folks might get worried. Well, I'll be on the lookout for them varmints. Don't you worry about us talking. Election's getting close, and I've got enough criticizers. <laughs> well, I'm for you, Sheriff, all the way. Well, I reckon that's all a man needs in this town, Pop. foot. You ain't fooling me none, Timothy Owens. The bank's clean. That's right. And if the depositors knew, they'd start a run. And what did we pay them with? What about those bank examiners? They're due your day after tomorrow. What are we going to show them? You'll put in a receiver. You'll call in all your overdue mortgages and check up on all those old notes you've been holding for years without security. Why, the town will be ruined. It'll be the end of Owensville. That's what I'm afraid of. I've got to replace that money. With what? You suck everything you had in this town. You haven't got a dime. Except that trust fund for your kids. I clean forgot that. 
There's more than enough in that to make the bank even. Well, maybe that wouldn't be a bad idea. Tom would just gamble off his share. Janet would fritter hers away. Maybe it'd do them both good to get their nose on the grindstone for a while. I can't touch it, but I can change it so as to make the bank the beneficiary. But you're forgetting one thing. What's that? Well, you're going to be with us for a long time yet, and you'd have to die for the bank to collect. <laughs> I won't talk with you, Skelly. Are you sure you're in the right place, Mr. Owens? They're all gamblers, gunmen here. Canyon said he's a robber's roost, you know. I thought you didn't do business with them. Not unless gunmen are my business. Get to the point, Owens. I want some guns for hire. Did I hear you say you want to hire gunmen? That's right. Well, I don't get it. Who are you trying to trap? There's no trap. I'd be as much a partner in crime as the men I hire. Now, what's the job? I'll tell the gunman. Do I get him? Well, why come to me? Because I consider you the best man to make the contact for me. You can split a thousand dollar fee with the gunman. Besides, you might be accused of the job. But if you handle it, you can arrange for an alibi beforehand. I, uh, may be able to supply them. Ever hear of the Cherokee boys? Of course. Every banker and stagecoach operator knows their reputation. I may be able to get in touch with them. All right. Send them over to see me at my bank. Well, there's a new twist for the help wanted column. A banker hiring gunmen. That letter writing's all right. That'll get you placed better than a gun. Yeah, let's go over to the bank. We ain't going in that way. That's right. I keep forgetting we're going in legal like. I don't blame him. I need a bracer to go in the front door of a bank in daylight. Hey, bartender, how about it? Yeah, let's have a drink. I'll take sarsaparilla. <laughs> he, he'll take sarsaparilla, and I'll take vanilla. You'll take this. Anybody else got anything to say about sarsaparilla? I always just... Somebody does. just mentioned sarsaparilla. Not as dry as a dusty food. Yeah, me too. Three sarsaparillas. Had enough, Sasparilla? Just enough. What?
bite you ever saw, Sheriff. And it all started over sarsaparilla. Sarsaparilla? Mm hmm No trigger, huh? Gun fixed for Simon. Barroom brawl. It all adds up. I've heard about you coyotes. Who, us? Never mind putting it on. I know the trademark of the Cherokee boys. Cherokee boys? Just a minute, Cherokee boys. Cherokee boys? Ah, uh, just a minute, Sheriff. You got us all wrong. Sure, you don't know what you're talking about. Out of town you go. Now, wait a minute. Get out of town. Put him behind the bar. Sure. Now, wait a minute. Another, another word out of you. On your horse you can get. Right now. What kind of a burg is this? They start a fight, we get the boot. And all because we order Sassaparelli. It's a good thing we didn't order tea or we'd have been strung up. Yeah, and his Cherokee outfit. Who are they? Say, I've got it. They must be the birds we beat up on. It was their gun, and I know that because... Did you figure all that out for yourself? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going over and tell the sheriff. Oh, no. Oh, no, you don't. If that sheriff finds us still in town, we'll land in a calaboose. Yeah, but... And we never will get that rodeo job we're headed for. All right, boys. Come on over to the bank. The which? <laughs> if that sheriff finds us in a bank, we'll end up in a coffin. I didn't think you'd scare that easy. Or you changed your mind. <laughs> we didn't. Sheriff changed it for us. Well, do you want to make that thousand or not? Did you say... A thousand? Dollars? That's what we agreed on, wasn't it? All right, come on. What's Pop doing with them Cherokee boys? The Cherokee boys? Why, they're the dirtiest gunmen in the state. There's $500. You'll get the rest just as soon as you finish the job. Is that satisfactory? Well, sure, only first we'd like to know what the job is. You're getting mighty particular, aren't you? From what I've heard, the Cherokee boys have killed men for much less than that and without asking questions. <laughs> sure, they'd probably do it for six bets and give you back your change. <laughs> they? Who? Uh, he means us two. He's always beef and we work too cheap. Let's get this straight. You want somebody killed and you're willing to pay a thousand dollars for the job? That's it. And I hired you killers to insure against any bungling. The man must be killed expertly and painlessly. And not later than tomorrow. Who's the man? Yeah, we gotta warn him. Warn him? Uh, sure. We always give him a sporting chance. We like to do things the hard way. This time I don't want the man warned. Who is he? The man I want killed is... Me. You? Why? It can't be the Sassaprilli. The Holberg's bunkhouse. I've come up against a problem that affects a great many folks in this town. It can only be solved by my death. But I haven't got the nerve or whatever it takes to do away with myself. Can't this problem be solved some other way? I'm afraid not. But wait a minute. I just concern. What's my problem to you? Well, we were just trying to draw you out to get the load on, that's all. Sure. What do we care about your troubles? Old coots like you would be better off out of their misery. Oh, wait a minute, fellas. Uh, when do we get the rest of the money? You'll find it on me. It'll give you a motive for the murder. Listen's all right. When and where do we kill you? Tonight. I'll be working here at the bank late alone. I just don't want to know when or how I'm going to get it. <laughs> you won't. Just consider yourself croaked. And it's got to be tonight. Those are the Cherokee boys, Dad. I know it. What business you got with killers and outlaws like that, Timothy Owens? Ain't things bad enough around here without you being friendly with buzzards like that? Being friendly is part of my business, Jed, and I'll run it. Time to close up. I'm going. 
with an alibi. If we didn't take the money and agree to kill him, somebody else would. Yeah, probably the Cherokees. Oh, listen. If we're going around committing the Cherokees' crimes for them, they're going to wind up on the end of a rope. Only it'll be us. We're not committing anything. We just figure that old fella doesn't need killing, whatever he says about it. Oh, well, that's different. Hey, but suppose them hombres come back and spill our beans. They'll have a tough time convincing people we're not the Cherokees. So start acting like one. I guess we'll have to come back tomorrow to see the old coot. Yeah, and there's three other guys we gotta get. Just a minute, you Cherokee varmints. I'm Tom Owens. I want to know what business you have with my father. Ah, you're closer to him than we are. Why don't you ask him? Well, I did. But for some reason, he wouldn't tell. You know darn well you had him too scared to talk. Well, if you won't tell, I'll knock the truth out of you. Hey! You can't do this to a Cherokee! Oh, so you had it again, huh? I thought I told you Cherokees to get out of town. He ain't looking at us less than he's cross-eyed. What happened, Tom? You want to bring any charges? No, it was just a private argument. I, I'll handle it myself. We're escorting you over the county line this time, just to make sure you're gone for keeps. We'll tie that, will you? First they take our guns, and then they take our handle. Do we take that? No. Nah. We've got to be exclusive like. There's three too many Cherokees in this town. Yeah. Hey, wait a minute. Keep heading south, or you'll head into bullets. Now what? Are we Cherokees or mosquitoes? It's all quiet. We've got to figure some way to get back and keep our appointment to murder old man Owens. Yeah, we don't want to disappoint him. Well, what I mean is we've got to disappoint him with some kind of an alibi. Yeah, but if we head back, we'll head into bullets. Hey, how'd we get turned around? Those guys haunt us again. We'll show them what happens when Cherokees meet their ghosts. Cherokees never lay off. We fight to the last man. All right, you be the last man. about to pick him off. Oh. 
Did you see him go when I started shooting? Uh, I mean, the charging. We better get back to Skelly's and tell him we didn't see the old man. What do you say we go look up this fellow Skelly and find out where he fits into the setup? That's a good idea. Set up the drinks, John. Here come the boys. Yes, sir. Well, how'd it go? Talk up. What was the job? We didn't get to see old man Owens. Why not? Well, we got to kind of a ruckus, and when we got to the bank, it was closed. I know you boys like to fight. When I send you out on a paying job, don't stop to get into any free brawls. Make sure you see him the first thing tomorrow. Yes. And you, forget those drinks. Hey, you know what? Two more words out of him, I'd have bopped him. Hey, isn't that young Owens going in there? All roads lead to Skelly's today. It's like a parade. First the Cherokees, then young Owens, and now us. Let's find out what the attraction is. Hey, wait a minute. Why, them Cherokees in there will blast us right through that front door if we try to crash in. Well, the family entrance is usually private. Let's see what the boys in the back room are having. Here we go again. And what's the idea of sending the Cherokees over to see my father? The Cherokees? They saw your father. What makes you think I sent them to him? You're the only one around here they do jobs for. Where did you see them? In the bank. Where do you think I saw them? I don't know what you're up to, Skelly, but you're going to call off your gunman, and that's not all you're going to do. You're going to give me the money and bonds your men took from the bank, or I'm heading for Dad and the Sheriff. Are you going to tell them how my boy has gotten to the bank? Yes, I'll tell them about my part in the two. If you don't give me that money, you're going to jail. Run along, sonny boy. Your noble reforming and threats don't impress me a bit. But this will. Start moving to that safe. You are full of surprises, aren't you? Well, I haven't the money. I don't keep that kind of dough here. Stop bluffing, Skelly. Open that safe. What made you grow up so overnight? You wouldn't understand. I could have covered up for that money I took till I paid it back next week. But you fix things in your own two time and skelly way. Your robbing the bank means it's closing, and not only ruining my dad, but a lot of other innocent people in Owensville. Drop it. <laughs> Tom. Isn't that buzzer a great invention? Burger, I want you to get that money we took from the bank. Don't stand there so surprised. I know what I'm doing. This note will release it to you. And I want you to come back just as soon as you can. You know, Tom, I don't like jails. And even having you as a cellmate doesn't make them inviting. So I'll get the money to you as soon as Berger gets back. Oh, it'll take a little time. But you'll have it the first thing in the morning, huh? Well, I hardly expected that. But you're being sensible. And don't change your mind, because if you don't deliver, I'm heading for the sheriff. That's for trying to cross me up and holding out on me. Holding out? I just talked to somebody who saw you in the bank with the old man. We told you the bank was closed. Hey, it must have been them other Cherokees. Other what? Oh, the birds we had the ruckus with. They stole our handles. What are you doing, spiking this stuff? You guys have done your last job for me. Go on, get out, get out. Come inside. You know, I don't trust that switch Skelly made, letting young Owens get away. Yeah. Let's make sure the kid is safe. Then we'll come back and talk finances with Skelly. Reach! 
All right, get moving. Over to the saloon. Here's them fake Cherokees, boss. If anybody went in the bank, they did. Who are you? Cherokees. See, what would tell you? <laughs> well, that's quite a coincidence. Any identification to prove it? You'll have to take our word for it. Did you see Pop Owens? Only Pop we saw was Sassaprilla. I'm sorry I did. Why did Mr. Owens give you this $500? He loaned it to us. That's a lie. It was to kill someone. Who? You recommended us. You tell us. <clears throat> Leave him with us a few minutes, boss. We'll make him talk. Mm, I'm sure you will. But I've got another job for you first. Young Owens is driving back to Owensville. I've heard of accidents happening on that road. Say, hey, so have I. You keep these birds here till we get back. We'll make them sing plenty. I'm sure they'll be here. Yeah, let's go. All right, sit down. Whoa. Can you imagine a guy like that sleeping with a Cherokee after him? I'd be saying my prayers. <laughs> I come near being killed. There they are, Sheriff. I might have known it'd be those Cherokees. Why, he's crazy. The guys we plugged back on the road were the real Cherokees. I'll settle for the Cherokees we got. Head them for jail. Your tombstones are going to read, here lie the Cherokee boys. And mine will say, I told you so. Come on, man, get moving. Come on.
But why is Dad in such a hurry for me to go? No use arguing with me. Pop said for me to get you on that train heading for your Aunt Susan's. That's what I aim to do. If I don't choke first on this concerted neck harness. Hey. Sheriff's got the Cherokees. Come on, get inside here. What's them Cherokees been up to now, Sheriff? They tried to kill young Tom Owen. Tom, huh? where is he? Is he all right? Yes, he's all right. We got there just in time. Well, we did. We, uh, we didn't try to kill him. We saved his life. Yeah. I'll take Tom's word for it. Especially if you still chase him when I caught you. Get in that jail. Gunman. Yep, them same Cherokees you was hobnobbing with. Did they hurt Tom? Nope, the sheriff says he's all right. I'd like to get my hands on anyone low enough to hire others to do their killings. There's always a motive behind every killing. But what would prompt anyone to get Tom? Leave that to us men folk to figure out. Now you run along with Jed and catch that train. But I'm not going, Dad. I couldn't stay away knowing there was trouble here. I'd be back on the next train. Oh, please let me stay. I guess it wouldn't be quite fair to send you away now. So you run along home and see if Tom's all right. Don't worry about it, Dad. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. See that she gets home all right, Jed. I've got some business to attend to. <laughs> business at this time of night. Them Cherokees have given everybody bats in the belfry. Come on, we'll pick up your bags on the way home. I want to change my clothes first. I'll see you later. Hey, where are you flying away to? Dad, I think I know someone who can help Pop and Tom. I got those wailing in the jailhouse blues. I got those wailing in the jailhouse blues. We ordered sarsaparilla. What a kick was in that drink. We played like we was Cherokees and they tossed us in the clink. And I got those wailing in the jailhouse blue. You sure warble nice, Cherokee. But it ain't gonna keep you from being whoa, strung up. It might help you crash them pearly gates, though, if you ever get there. <laughs> you got me so mixed up, I don't know if I'm really me. We took ourselves an alias. Our alias is just the thing what's ailing us. And I'm not myself, I don't know who I be. There's a lesson to my story, there's a moral to my song. There's a lesson to my story, there's a moral to my song. Just be yourself, whatever you do. Don't ever be nobody else but you, and you will never have those wailing in the jailhouse blue. Oh, hello, Ted. I want a word with those Cherokees alone. All right, Pop, but be careful. They're dangerous characters. Fine spot you got me in. You think it's bad out there? You ought to try it in here. I hired you to kill me. I should have been dead hours ago. And here I find you in jail for trying to kill my son. We were out gunning for you. Then somebody tipped us off that gent in the rig was Owens. We thought it was you, so we blasted him. Yeah, why'd you tell us you had a kid? That's two timing. Well, we ought to charge you double. Never mind the alibis. I've got to be put away by tomorrow. And how are you going to do it if you're behind bars? We can break out of here any time we feel like it. Why, sure. We just strapped it here for a couple of weeks. Now, don't do nothing till we get out. You hired us and we'll do you a nice, clean job. I think you Cherokees are frauds. 
I'm going over to you, boss, and hire some ordinary gunmen that I can depend on. You can't fire us. You wait. We'll do the job. We promise it. We'll kill you. Well, that threat will be something else that we'll talk up against you Cherokees. Miss Owen's out in front to see you. Thanks, Zeke. Good evening, Miss Owens. Mr. Skelly, I've come to ask you a big favor. Why, of course. Well, I hope there's nothing wrong. But there is. It's Dad and Tom. Oh, I know that you and Dad don't get along, but I hoped you might help us. Well, I'll be glad to if I can. What's the trouble? A few hours ago, some gunmen named Cherokees tried to kill Tom. Now, I hope he got away safely. Luckily, yes. The sheriff caught the Cherokees. They're in jail now. They are, eh? I mean, that's good. What is it you want me to do? Well, Jed thinks that they were hired by somebody. And I thought that you, knowing so many people, might be able to find out who it is and stop him from trying it again. Sounds like a big job. But I'll be glad to do all I can to justify your confidence in me. And that'll prove to Dad that he's been wrong about you. Well, that's fine. Wait here, I'll be right back. All right. Cherokees let young Owens get away and got themselves in jail. Owens will surely talk now ahead of schedule. No, he won't. We're getting to Owens right now. Round up the boys. Them fake Cherokees caught up with us. They plugged Summer and Butch. Thought you ought to know. All I know is I hired the wrong Cherokees. It's getting pretty late, so Zeke here will ride along with you as far as Owensville. I don't know how to thank you for being so kind. Oh, why, that's all right. I'm glad to be of any help. I'll get word to you after I've checked up. All right, thank you. Oh, Dad, I've been waiting to see you. I've heard about those Cherokees. But I'm glad you're safe, Tom. They weren't supposed to be after you. Oh, I don't know about that. They tried hard enough, but I guess I was just lucky. And I was unlucky. They're mistaking you for me. But why would they try to kill you? Well, you see, son, the only way I knew of saving the bank was to make it the beneficiary of the trust fund I'm carrying for you and Janet. But, Dad, you'd have to die before... You hired the Cherokees to kill you. There wasn't much choice left for me. But there is now. You can call off that deal. You see, Dad, I owed Skelly $2,000. Tom, this man-to-man -man talk was a long time coming. I hope it's not too late. But then it's never too late for a son to come to his dad with his troubles. And I'm glad you did. Thanks, Dad. Now, let's get the sheriff. Yes, but what'll happen to you for being mixed up in this? Never mind about me. Right now, all I'm concerned with is getting that money back from Skelly before tomorrow. We'll get it, son, if we have to turn Canyon City upside down and jail the whole town to find it. Well, Dad, looks like we got Skelly right where we want him. Looks more like Skelly has got you. And just in time to invite you out. You're not taking that any. Stop! Get up. How can a guy sleep like that with so much on his conscience? That's what that gunman in Skelly's office said, too. Remember? Uh, burns me up. Yeah, me too. We do all the work and worrying. All he does is snore. Hey, we'll wake him up. Give me a match, will you? Another one. Oh, 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 oh,
Hold in there. Well, Miss Janet, what brings you out so early? Something terrible must have happened. I had an important errand to do, and when I got home, I found Pop and Tom both gone, and the house all torn up. Got any idea what it's about, or any clues? No, but, but maybe those Cherokee men could tell us who hired them. Oh, the Cherokee. You get it back. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. They must be on foot somewhere. I don't know what you've got in mind, Skelly, but you'll be a bigger fool than I think you are if you try to do away with us. Everybody knows I haven't got an enemy in the world outside of you, so whatever happens is bound to be laid in your doorstep. Yeah, that was my problem. And if I turned you loose, you'd go to the sheriff with an embarrassing story about me and my boys. But now I have the answer. Gentlemen, here's where we part company. Get off. We'll have to scatter them or they'll close in on Pop. All right, gentlemen, start walking. Fighting Skelly doesn't make sense. Unless he double crossed them the same as he did me. Maybe they're fighting about the money I paid them for killing me. I sure wish I could call the whole deal off. Even if you could, Skelly'd make sure we'd never get to the sheriff alive. Yes, I'm afraid you're right. Sasparilla close in and finish off the owns as fast. I'll do the talking to the sheriff. Now lead the way to your pals. All right. 
Hold it, Skelly. This man is my prisoner. Thanks, Sheriff. Thanks a lot. Never mind that. Where's your pals? Right this way. Too late, Sheriff. Murdered in cold blood by the Cherokees. This corpse can be made to live if you grab Skelly. Finish your story, Pop, so my sheriff can close his mouth. I'm charging Skelly and his gang with a bank robbery and attempted murder. I figure this is yours, but I can't figure out these Cherokees. Let a Cherokee speak for us. Start talking. Me and Summer and Butch are the original and the only Cherokees. These hombres are impersonating us. And you know, Sheriff, that ain't legal. You're right, it ain't. And that's for impersonating a gentleman. Take him out. Thank you, boys, for this Owens family reunion. You know, I don't think I made such a bad mistake in hiring you after all. 